I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay Free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, I got beef with the feds in the Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A Good up, good up. Mac with a double drum Back with another one It's your man about to fly Tell your mama I said hi Shout out to the subscribers That notification gang We appreciate every single one of y'all That watch this content Whether religiously or in passing If you respect the handle Subscribe to the channel You'll be in tune with all of the latest content And everything that we got going on Shout out to every single one of y'all Let's get right to the topic at hand Loaded Lux Shout out to Loaded Lux And everything he's got going on Beloved Um the fastest way to Harlem is the A train. What's a Harlem nigga with no bread? I said that's like a BMX with no pegs, a frat party with no kegs, Friday with no Craig, a Harlem nigga with no bread? <laughs> they said a Harlem. What is a Harlem nigga with no bread? Uh, if you haven't seen, Loaded Lux is having a watch party in New York for the uh, Power Moves event. <laughs> Can I get it? Can I get it? This Saturday, baby. Hold on. Where you doing the story with the glory of local natives? Babe in the waters, in the water. I don't do it for social ratings. Cheers to the gift, nigga. This ain't an open taping. This Saturday, baby, we live. We know we're at the sanctuary, man. Rewind shit. This is special, man. If you don't know, hit me and holler versus get your Gotti going up this Saturday. We're going to do it here at the sanctuary. Good watch party, y'all know what we do. You know what I'm saying? Got food for you, good food for you, nourishment. You ain't got to worry about going nowhere. You gonna eat, you gonna be straight. They wanna, they wanna, they wanna, they wanna make their own flower. They wanna make their own flyers promoting, yo, <laughs> cutting my price on what the fuck I got going on and interrupting my business. You know what's up, man? We ain't doing nothing, $40 ticket. Food included, you know what I'm saying? Good vibes. We here with some friends of mine, and we gonna break down these battles. You know what I'm saying? And we shout out to uh, bags and bottles and bodies and <laughs> bags and bodies. Hit me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! If that make you want to do something, I... listen. All due respect, no disrespect. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to bags and bodies. You know what I'm saying? It's going up. You know, this Saturday we're gonna do a special with wine watch party. You know, just. In honor of, 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 of the culture, you hear me? Something God love. We had the sanctuary. It's not this Saturday. We ain't going nothing. Pop out. And do some God love. I did see the flyer start to pass. Loaded Lux has a flyer, and in the era of everything that's going on with all of the bootlegs, smack stopping a whole stream allegedly because of bootlegs and things like that. Watch parties, bootleg. All of this stuff has came into question with people before. You know what I'm saying? I have been one that has always said that. Blue legs are always gonna happen. Watch parties are always gonna happen. Zoom meetings are gonna happen. Discords are gonna, they're always gonna happen. Shit, we had niggas in meeting, remember them niggas? <laughs> Black Combs, shout out to them. Black Combs was like some of the first niggas that was doing the watch party shit, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh wee, look what that money maker bitch do. Oh. And they was charging niggas to get in, and they made a big issue about it with the media and the battle rappers and all of that, but listen, it happens all the time. Tell them to throw a party and invite me. I like to see battles for $5 instead of 50 I'm just saying. It is the economy. I blame the economy. No slight to them, you know what I'm saying? I know they may be mad, they may hate me, you know what I'm saying, et cetera, et cetera, but I'm trying to watch the joints for free, baby. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no beef with me. Let me watch them for free. I'm trying to come to the poority. So, let's get it started. Uh, loaded, lo I had seen the flyers, and I didn't know, and I know how Hitman promotes, and Hitman, you know, he'll get in his bag, and he feels some type of way. I was like, I just wait to see what Hitman says about the uh, watch party, and he wasn't feeling it, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think he would be. He said, uh, why would Loaded Lux throw an event, charge $40 for people to get in to watch my battle that I'm also selling pay-per-views for? Does that really make any sense to y'all? Am I the only one missing? Am I missing something? You know what I'm saying? And here's the deal. Um, this is crazy. <laughs> it happens all the time though, I'm not surprised, you know what I mean? 
But I think the precedent as a battle rapper, one of the biggest battle rappers of all time in Loaded Lux, to be throwing an event while you're having an event, which, you know, people who might have copped the pay-per-view, Hitman wants to make sense. He wants to make every dollar. He wants to make his money. He's throwing an event. These battles ain't cheap. Economy's not cheap. You know, you're paying for this. You're paying for that. You got media. You got all this shit that you're paying for. To have somebody come on the side, just book a venue, and then just have a party with your event, you know, a motherfucker might feel some type of way. And that's why Hitman is exactly saying. So, you know, people are saying, you know, in boxing and in this sport, they do this all the time. There's always parties. I get it. But when you look at it, somebody said, uh, you know, one of the other comments said, watch parties happen all the time, bro. Seems bad, but this happens with boxing events all the time. So the hitman said, watch parties that you charge people $10 less than the pay-per-view price. Cool. So the pay-per-view price is $40, is $50, right? $50. And then the party price is $40. Stand out here like three stooges of Harlem or something, B? They're gonna let this nigga come and take your shit, ain't you a motherfucking man? You gonna let another man take your shit, B? You done lost your privilege of getting any money, man, until you show me where that man is at. Dead up here, man. You dead, man. All right? You hear what the fuck I'm saying, man? Now get the fuck off my stoop, man. Go ahead, man. Go find that man, B. Go find him, B. Unless you like being broke, nigga. Go this way, man. Hey, my man, go this way, man. Go that way, man. That niggas don't seem to understand me out here, B. Now, if you ask me, you're gonna have a better time at the party because it's gonna be some things there. Harlem, they're gonna bring something. Am I invited to the party? Can I? Baby, welcome to the party. I'm up to my, you know what I'm saying? The, the party gonna be in the club. They're gonna have food. They're gonna have drinks. They're gonna have vibes. And it may be parking, you know what I'm saying? So the party might be where, might be where it's popping at. I don't know. Um, and Loaded Lux did say, you know, in the video, you know, my bad. If you feel some type of way about it, my bad. Woody, woody, woo. But the party is going to still happen. Now, here's the deal. Um, he probably feels like. Now, first of all, these two are possible opponents, like Hitman and Lux. They've been going back and forth talking about battling each other and shit like that. And, and Lux could kind of be like, you know, I cut in on your profit, nigga. You know, what's a Harlem nigga with no bread? A nigga that's going to get some. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he even feel like, yo, I cut in on your shit. What's up? I. I, I I, I, I eat off. I let you eat after I get off my bricks. You know what I mean? Uh, if you ask me, this is my personal opinion. Um, one, as a proponent of a person that, like I told y'all, in all events, all events get bootleg, all events get discorded, all events get streamed, all events. That's just gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? So when URL throws this bullshit on the wall that they cancel an event because of discords, the fuck out of here because they're gonna do it to the next one and the one after that. And when Surf come on, we put that on pay per view. Niggas gonna bootleg that too. I'm just saying it's 2024. See, a lot of people don't want to say shit the way that it really happens, but I'm a nigga that I'm, I'm living in the reality of what happens in a lot of these situations and people that support you people that support that fuck with you what you got going on that really endorse the brand and that believe in a the product they're gonna pay but there's a lot of motherfuckers that would rather just see some shit for free and you can't knock it i mean i don't knock the hustle i don't run discords i'm not you know what I'm saying putting together streams and all of that shit but you gotta be out your mind if you think I'm not gonna click a link, you know what I'm saying? As far as, especially after the joints is over. Like I said, all the battles that happen on the URL app in order to see them again or to get the footage and shit, I don't use their footage no more. You know, it is what it is. But um, y'all let me know, you know what I'm saying? What's your, what is your thoughts on this, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like, and I feel like an artist should be able to throw an event, cause if this is a blogger, y'all be tripping. You know what I'm saying? If a blogger or some motherfucker was throwing some shit like this, a part a party and inviting people and telling them that they got paid forty dollars to see the event and shit like that. I think that's what he's looking at. He's probably hot that somebody's gonna make money on the day that he's making money. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Harlem, <laughs> there's a lot of niggas in New York. I'm closer to the party than I am to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I got school and shit. And like I said, I definitely was invited, but I got school and the economy, bro. Like that that flying and hotels and rent of cars. I'm gonna do my homework. So I'm gonna do my homework this week. Shout out to everybody that's gonna be in the A, but that's just, I don't, like I said, I've said a while ago, I don't really have like energy, time, or even, you know, just money to be spending to be flying to different states if I'm not directly involved, you know what I'm saying? If I'm not directly involved, I'm gonna have something with the league, you know what I'm saying? But if that's not the case, I'm home, you know what I'm saying? Because it's cheaper, and I think a lot of people will personally prepare, 
personally prefer for me and SP to do the thing that we do, going live after the events, breaking down the battles after the events from here, you know what I'm saying? It takes away from some people's viewer experience because they want to see that. Like, I be doing joints when we be going places, they be like, man, I be having to rush back to the hotel just to recap and all of that, so we did it, I've done it. If I'm at a couple, if I'm at joints in the future, cool, but for the most part, expect me at the crib. But, um, you know, Loaded Lux, I mean, you know, as one, and the thing is, if Loaded Lux is allowed to, because that's a lot of motherfuckers gonna be looking at. If he could throw a party, why I can't throw a party? If his party's in real life, why my party can't be online? You know what I'm saying? It just opens up a, a web of bullshit. Because mostly people gonna be, the, the people that's involved, that's paying for the event, is gonna be thinking, if you making money, who's getting that paper? And you buying the event one time, and 50 to 100 people is gonna be able to watch it. If they was gonna pay, that's cut from my over. They're basically the same shit that Smack reiterated the other day. And no other league is gonna be able to do that. And the thing about um, Lux, shout out to Lux, I got no issue with him, you know what I'm saying? That's my man. You don't have a league. You guys, like the guys that are at the forefront, I say this all the time with the murder moves, the loaded luxes, with the business and shit, y'all don't have leagues. So if you don't have a league, another person could never do to you what you're doing to Hitman by throwing an event while he's having an event, but selling his event for $40 a person. Like you, you, you don't have a league. So if you was to battle on another joint, Hitman was to say, I'm taking Rum Nitty versus Loaded Lux and I'm gonna have a watch party with it. The internet would be going crazy, URL wouldn't be happy with it either, nobody would be. Especially with the flyers and shit, cause it look like, yo, you literally are promoting. You took, you're taking my flyer, <laughs> putting some shit over it, putting, it's called re-rock. You know, who you re-rocking my shit. This product is too strong, so you wanna put extra cut on it in order to cut it down and sell my shit. You selling my shit, you basically re-rocking my shit. Hmm? How I'm, I can't eat that beef? Huh? Huh? I'm on some real murder shit, huh? Anybody ever looked at me wrong, owes me money, or said any jealous bullshit is fucking dead beef? You gotta take that shit up the block. You can't sell, you can't sell my work on. Hitman's basically saying you can't sell my work in Hall. This is blue magic. You can't sell my work and make profit off of it. You know what I mean? And there are, I know there's a contingent of people that are out there that feel like, yo, this is nothing different than what they do in boxing or what they do in the Super Bowl at Buffalo Wild Wings and shit like that. I get it, but those companies are multi-billion dollar companies. They're multi-million dollar companies. They know their shit is getting bootlegged. They know it's gonna be on Stream East. They know First Row Sports. They know all these websites are gonna have, meth streams are gonna have their shit, right? They know that there's so much, they're over, they're so much over their overhead by selling tickets, uh, all of the memberships, has league pass, NFL has Sunday ticket, red, red line, red zone, all that shit. They got all of these different entities where they make money. So they're not worried about the bottom feeders who are the people who just watch the shit on, you know, that's just what they do. And then they look at it as free promotion. Battle rap is such a small community that they can't afford for niggas to be thinking that that is even gonna be a practice where you could just, you know, in your city. Every time a big event come on, I can just go to Atlanta, throw a party. I can go to Miami, throw a party. A lot of blogs, we know enough people that we can get 50, 40, 30, 5, 50 people in the city. I go to Houston and then say, fuck it, we throwing a watch party and invite 50 people. They'll show up, Atlanta, they'll show up. Shit, <laughs> that's a hustle right there. <laughs> But I expect the Harlem nigga to pull a Harlem hustle with the Harlem shuffle, if you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Now, I don't know how, to, how they'll resolve it or whatever the case may be, but Hitman did speak on it, and I did see people online tweeting about it saying, yo, Hitman's throwing parties, y'all only mad at URL, like how could y'all be mad? So we'll, we'll see how it goes, but it is what it is. Gang, 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 shout out to the party bulls. I'm out this ditch, gang. I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair. It's the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year. The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip. Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip. Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer. Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer. The very next week, I lost three of my men's. Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay. Free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot. When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop. It's the VADA, I got beef with the feds and the DA. Desperado style gun in the briefcase. And the fans been asking my release date. Never took a week break. VADA, I got beef with the feds and the DA.